afternoon, Miss. The table or the seat at the back? I'm joining someone. Amelia Kaminska? Of course, this way. Oh, it's okay. I see her. I'll find my own one. Sure. I'll get someone to get your order. You can get us started with two vodka martinis, just how she likes them. Sure. Right away. Thank you. Babushka! Hello, darling. Come, sit. Let me look at you. So beautiful. You look just like your grandmother. You know, it never ceases to amaze me. Whenever I see you, it's like looking back in time. You look just like her. How are you? I'm good, my love. I'm good. How's Maria? Oh, much better. Her sister Gabriella is helping me in the house while Maria is resting. Gabriella? Oh, I'm sorry. You met her a few times. She had a little boy, um, what was his name? Miguel. With the baseball glove. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> and how is Liam Neeson, your sweet puppy? He misses you. Well, I'm not driving all the way over there. Uh, I don't even like you being there. It's not safe, and it's so dirty. Yeah, fair point. Touché, my darling. You found him. I found him. Sixty years we've been hunting him. How on earth? Happenstance. Another hunter in the same chat room on the dark web. The dark web. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. Listen to me, Krulevna. Do not let him inside your head. You do your job, but you never forget what he is. He's a monster and a psychopath. So rare to find one alive. You clever, clever girl. I assume you have contacted Maxim. I'll sort it. I'm seeing him tomorrow morning, and then I fly out tomorrow. Muchas gracias, Jose. Nazdrovia. Nazdrovia. Cover girl. I'm doing good, McShane. How about you? Well, you know me, baby. All better for seeing you. I like you. Always on time. 
No mess. Speaking of... Passport and papers as requested, my lady. Speaking of ladies, how's she doing lately? Maybe. She's well. She sends her regards. Good, good. Now, you need anything else? Some little extras? Something to make you chill out in the flight? Oh. I'm not a nervous flyer. You ain't nervous at all, cover girl. You never flinch. Not even for a moment. See you around, McShane. Safe travels, my darling. Be lucky. Yeah, motherfucker, that's what I'm saying. There is woman. I like it. It's our time, motherfucker. Hey, Tiff. It's me. I'm heading off to the airport now, and I just wanted to thank you again for looking after Liam Neeson along the way. I've already fed him, and I'll uh, leave the key in the usual place and text you the gate code again now. All right, I'll see you in a week. And say hey to Alfie for me, okay? Okay. Be lucky. Love you. It's me, Margo. Oh, hey Margo. <laughs> oh my god. Did you see the photo of the two of them? I told her you have got to get rid of him. He's just toxic. If I see him this side of Abbot Kinney, he'll have to deal with me. Ooh, rather him than me. I know you know how to fight. I'll never forget you taking down Claire Chandler in ninth grade, and you can totally tell that's not a real tooth now. <sighs> Any time, in the gym, no pads. You're on. When? When I return. Oh my god. Where are you now? I thought I heard a different ringtone, but I was so busy talking and... I just landed in Bali. No way! Seriously? Don't worry, I've got to work here. Oh, my heart bleeds. No, seriously. My friend Noel. You know her with uh, pink hair from Detroit? Lived in that loft downtown on Pico. Yeah, she's been out here for like a year working for this real estate firm. And they're like really behind on getting websites. So she's been working on that and needs a photographer. Well, shit, girl. Cheers to you. Oh, you gotta remind me how to say it. It always sounds so classy. Nastrovia. Nastrovi. No, no, Nastrovia. Nastrovi. There you go, girl. You got this. Well, you go have fun. Hello. It's uh, very cold outside. May I come in? Can I help you? I've got a room reserved. Oh, I'm... The, the American. We've been expecting you. You're late. Oh, I'm sorry. Follow I... me.
Placide d'amour ne dure qu'un mon moment. Je grimpe. That's from uh, John Lennon over there. Toute la vie. What are the chances? Pleasure d'amour. The pleasure of love. Pleasure d'amour. Ne dure qu'un moment. Chagrin d'amour dure toute la vie. That was my great grandparents' favorite song. They danced to it at their wedding. I'm John. Nice to meet you, John. I'll have to excuse the stairs. We're somewhere off the beaten track around here. Not really used to strangers. American? American. And you? That accent, it's so distinctive. Liverpool, born and bred. That's why they call me John around here. <laughs> That's cute. I'd have to put you down as more of a George. It's what brings you halfway across the earth, all the way to this little corner of the world. Hello? Who's there? This is private property. Please, I'm sorry I'm lost. Goodness. Are you okay? You're American. Yeah. What on earth have you done? I was hiking and I slipped. My ankle, I can barely... Lean on me. God, you're frozen. Let's get you in the house. Ah, there, sit right there like that, yeah. I'm gonna go fetch you something to warm you up a bit.
here. I'm gonna make you some hot cocoa. But while the water is boiling, get that down you. It'll do you a world of good. Thank you. You're very kind. I'm so sorry. No bother. Now then, first things first. What's your name? Lucy. <coughs> Are you okay? I'll survive. That sounds nasty. Oh. Oh, Smokey. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? Well, Lucy, that's a beautiful name. Well, Lucy, it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Terry. Now then, second thing's second. Let's have a look at this, shall we? Oh, yeah. Oh, does this hurt? No. How about this? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay, I think you rolled it. Nothing too serious, but you should have it checked out. Can't walk on it. The doctor, he'll be closed now. I don't have a phone up here, so... You know, I'll, ru I'll run into town. Uh, he should be at the pub by now anyway. And if not, I'll call him from there. Oh, I don't want to be any more bother than I already No, it's no bother at all. Oh, now then, about that cocoa. Here you go. Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm gonna run out for a bit. I don't wanna miss Dr. Wilson in case by chance he's still there. Will you be okay on your own? If you're sure you don't mind me staying. No. Us Yanks have to stick together, right? Thank you, really. I don't know what I would have done if I hadn't have come across. Get some rest. You're safe now. There you go, Terry. Oh, thank you. Do me a favor and write that one down for me, will you? No problem at all. How are you today? Oh, nothing new today. You? No, nothing new here. Just another day, isn't it? Hello, John. Hi, Terry. What do you know? Nothing new today. Are you? Hey, here. You were here last night. Mm, popped in for a half. Why? <laughs> you should have seen it. Beautiful American girl. Her tan legs. Most fantastic set of hiking boots. Beautiful hiking boots. I must have missed her. But I caught the end of that song you did. I think it's time to leave. Ah, no, Life. Written by a really good friend of mine. Great song. I loved it. It should be in a movie. Oh, cheers, Terry. <coughs> I want to get Dr. Wilson to look at that, Terry. It sounds like it's turning into something. I'll be fine, my friend. You ought to uh, take it easy on the farm all day, Terry. I'll tell you what, tomorrow, I'm passing your place on my way through to Coniston. I'll drop you off some of the world famous chicken soup if you like. That'll sort you out. Oh, I don't want you to go to any trouble. It's no trouble. As I say, I'm going that way anyway. Well, I, I may be out myself. I have to pick up some things from the vets. If so, just leave it there on the door. Stopping for another? I don't see why not. Not got anyone to be rushing home for, have I? Two more when you're ready, please, Alison.
There she is. Sleeping Beauty. I'm so sorry. I was exhausted last night. I, uh... You were dead to the world. But at last, here you are. How's the patient? You know, it's feeling a little better. Good, good. Well, go, sit down. Bre- breakfast is nearly ready. Take a load off. That's for me? You better believe it. We're cooking with gas here. Made fresh for you this morning. Wow. Thank you. Must keep you healthy living off the land like this. I try. Now, I can't quite place you. I want to say Los Angeles, but your manners are much better than that. Actually, Orlando, Florida. The other sunshine state. We moved there when I was still in high school for my dad's work. What did he do? You, you need something. I could really do with some coffee. You want some? I'll, I'll, I'll touch you some. Oh, it's okay. I'll get it. Are you sure? I'm sure. Please. You've done enough. Stay here and eat. Don't let it go cold. So how about you? Where do you hail from? I'm thinking bagels and coffee. Born and bred. Moved here 20 years ago after I retired. This place belongs to my wife's boat. We were supposed to take it over together, but uh, it wasn't meant to be. Soon after I retired, she took her own life. No note. I came home one day and we were so happy. It only felt right that I should still come for her. It's what she would have wanted. You know what I miss? Real American coffee in a diner. You know what I mean? It's an American institution, like pancakes. Oh, God, pancakes. I can't tell you the last time. They're just not the same here. You've not been back there? No, oh, there was nothing to go back for. The past is the past, and everything else is just... Nostalgia. Exactly. <coughs> oh, that reminds me. Did you speak to Dr. Watson, was it? Oh, <clears throat> oh close Wilson. Yes, uh, yes, as a matter of fact, I did. He, uh, I bumped into him, you know, when he was coming out and I was arriving. He's... He said he'd stop by when he's out doing his rounds, so you know, no need for you to rush off. Thank you again. I really appreciate your hospitality like this. Oh, it's, it's no problem. I don't often get company, so I'm sorry if I'm a bit rusty. I'll definitely be leaving a great review. So you want to uh, take a shower or a, or a bath if you can't stand yet properly? That would be awesome. Oh, good. Well, all right. We'll finish that, and we'll we'll fetch you some towels from the linen closet.
Terry, it's John. Are you in, Terry? It's John. I brought you soup. Are you all right, mate? Are you in? Terry, are you okay? You don't look so good. I'm sorry. I just figured I'd use yours instead of mine. <clears throat> because I mean like it obviously works. It worked when you drugged me last night. But it's different to mine, so I just wasn't sure how much to use. <laughs> Still, I guess that's a lesson to us both. Never drink anything you didn't fix yourself. <laughs> Don't talk. There'll be plenty of time for that. You're okay. You're safe. You're in good hands. You're in great hands. What did you... You're out for a lot longer than I thought. That stuff is strong, huh? Well, maybe. You should have added a teeny bit more to that cocoa last night, and then I wouldn't have had to have pretended to be asleep while you were... What was that you were doing? Were you masturbating? <laughs> Gee, I don't know whether I should be more flattered or impressed. I mean, you're like old. Really old. No, no. Don't go to sleep on me. It's time to get up. It's time to wake up. I don't understand what's g going on. Are, are you part of some gang? It's okay. Nice shower. No time for a bath. I probably used all the hot water anyway. Yeah. There he is. I 
don't know what this is. I don't know what you want. Untie me. No. Please. You. You. No. That's not how this goes. I. 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 Say no. Ask me again and see what happens. And tie me. No. No. There you go. You're learning. We're making progress. This is good. I'll be right back, but don't you go anywhere now. Help! Hello! Somebody! Help! Someone! Help! Hello! There's no one around, and you know it. There's not another house for miles, and you know that too. But there is a hiking trail across your land, so shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's the matter? You don't like the taste of that? <laughs> there you go. That's what you like, isn't it? Don't. Don't embarrass yourself by fucking with me. Don't fuck with me. I don't know what you want. I took you in. I gave you shelter. I, I thought you were hurt. Do I look fucking hurt to you? How'd you cope with the cold out here? You don't miss that sunshine. And the smell here, it stinks of piss and shit. I'm from New York. We have seasons there. Oh, yeah. New York. I remember you said. Yeah. Yeah? Yes. Were you, though? Like, were you really? And well, me. You know, Florida, Sunshine State and all. I don't know what you want. If you're here to rob me, I'm not here to rob you. Then why am I tied up? Okay, you like really need to check your attitude. Untie me! Help! Please! Please! I'll untie you when I'm ready. When will that be? When I found what I'm looking for. Well, what the fuck are you looking for? The truth! The truth. Uh, John? Hey, up secret piece. What do you know? Not much. You? Ah, uh, no, not much, no. Here, who said anything to Terry, have you? Terry? Terry, the young, down at Cowley Farm. Oh, him? Uh, no, not today. Everything yeah. alright? Yeah, yeah. He had a bit of a cough the other night, that's all. And I said I'd drop him off some of my chicken soup. Good stuff, that. Don't put him right. Aye, we will. Anyway, I'm just off on my way through to Coniston. I'll see you in the pub later for a drink if you're out. Yeah, I'll be in. Keep your eye off them sheep, you. Of course he will. I was talking to the dog. I was talking to you, you randy git. It's a way, you like. Like. <laughs>
You have the wrong person. Do you know what I want? No. So how do you know I have the wrong person? What's the combination? For that? No. No. That's her jewelry. That's my Kathy. No, no way. You said you weren't here to rob me. Take whatever you want from the house. But please, leave that. There's some money upstairs. It's not much. But I'm I not here to rob you. Now give me the combination. Please, you have the wrong man. Again with that. How do you know I have the wrong man if you don't know what I want? Well, what do you want? The combination. We have time. We don't have time to go through 720 combinations. Oh, you're wrong. Don't be so goddamn stupid. No, I mean your math. Your math is wrong. There are 999 combinations on a three combination lock. You could save us both a lot of time. I know you like me and all, but I can see you're getting frustrated. So imagine how you'll be waiting for me to crack this. You'll be like, gee, get out of my house, girl. <laughs> You're not well. Excuse me? Whatever this is, whatever you want, whatever you're after, it's just, it's not normal. Well, maybe you should have fetched the fucking doctor after all. Don't, don't you put that on me. Where are you, you sick fuck? You're sick. What are you going to do now? Waterboard me? You're probably into that too, aren't you? Water sports. Golden showers does it for you, does it? What's the combination? Very well then. Okie dokie. Here we go. What's the combination? Please. Please. One, two, three. Nope. One, one, one. All the ones? Nope. Seriously, I can do this all day. Six, six, six. The number of the beast. Lucy, please, help me. Can't we just talk? We cannot. Oh, but you know who can? I better put this on speakerphone. I wouldn't want you to miss anything. State your name. Terry. No. Terrence Hendricks. Permit me to introduce myself. My name is Amelia Kamiska. And you, sir, are Rudolf Tannhäuser of the SS. You, Mr. Tannhäuser, were a guard at Auschwitz. And you are solely responsible for the murder of some 100,000 innocent people. What the fuck? You're both insane! Hold your tongue! Or she will cut it out. Do you understand me? I, you have the wrong person! Well, unfortunately for you, Mr. Tannhäuser, you are not the first guilty person to utter those words. My name is Terry. What do I have to do to prove it to you? Let me prove it to you. Untie me and I'll, and I'll, I'll just. Tulevna uvazai. Tulevna.
no more foreplay. Did Maria make up the guest room for you? Yes, thank you. The man you are looking for is a monster. His evil is unspeakable and undeniable. Rudolf Tannhäuser. He fled the camp two days before it was liberated by the Red Army. I remember it as if it was yesterday. <laughs> the 27th of January, 1945. Nearly all the guards didn't go to trial. Well, how could they, since most of the judges were part of the same war crimes? In 1945, there were approximately 800,000 members of the SS, including this monster and other people that we have hunted. Between now and then, only 100,000 of them were ever investigated. And of those, only 6,000 were sentenced. 124 received life sentences. Over 800,000 members. And only 124 were sentenced for life. The Ulm Einsatz Kommando trial in 1958. Ten defendants, most of them were given three years. Sobibor trial, 1965, 12 defendants. Only half were sentenced. Treblinka trial in 1964, 11 defendants of the four that actually received a sentence, three were released early. And the Frankfurt Auschwitz trial in 1965. 22 defendants. 16 were released within five years. Almost all who were sentenced for the shooting, the gassing, and the torture rarely received more than three years. Three years. This is him. Isn't it? This is the man who... Killed them? Your parents. It wasn't just my parents, Krulevna. I had a little sister once. Her name was Hanna. She was about seven months old when we reached Auschwitz. My parents had put her in a suitcase so that we could all stay together. And they gave me the suitcase to hold thinking it looked less suspicious, that they wouldn't think that a little girl had anything worth taking. As we reached the top of the line, Anna started to cry. Up until then, she hadn't made a sound, not a squeak. She never cried. Not like me. Apparently she was as good as gold. Suddenly, she let out this God Almighty scream. As if she could sense 
the evil, as if she could feel it in her little bones, as if she could smell it in the air. The guard approached me and asked me to open the suitcase. He punched me in the face. I dropped the suitcase. I remember looking at my parents, the sheer terror on their face. He opened the case and he took little Hamna out. He held her by her ankles and she was screaming and screaming and screaming and screaming. <laughs> he held her by the ankles and smashed her against the wall over and over and over again. She stopped crying. Well, of course, she died instantly. He swung her like a rag doll, and she broke like a china one. I think that was the only moment of silence I remember in that infernal place. I couldn't look at my parents. Then the guard cut out my mother's tongue. And he cut off my father's ears. I remember the blood. I had to turn away. And then, behind the line, I saw this little girl about the same age as me. Her name was Ingeborg. And she was your grandmother. We held each other tight all night. We were five years old. Five years. I haven't told that to anyone before. So you see, he didn't just murder my parents. He didn't just murder your great-grandparents. And he didn't just murder Hannah. Rudolf Tannhäuser was solely responsible for the torture and death of 100,000 innocent people in Auschwitz. Though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, 
but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. If you keep shouting, I'll drill both your kneecaps to the chair. Why did your wife commit suicide, Rudolph? Was it because she found out who you were? Did she find out your true identity? She couldn't have known from the beginning. For who could ever learn to love a beast? I loved her. I don't think even you believe that. I loved her. You're not capable. You said she didn't leave a note. You know how I can tell when you're lying? You move your mouth. She couldn't live with it, could she? Your Kathy. Another innocent life snuffed out. What did she ever do but love you? Love you blindly. I don't think you've said an honest word since I've been here. It's all, it's all a lie. It has to be. How else could you live with what you did? And now, here you are in your very own gingerbread house. Your very own fairy tale. Only in this tale, you're not the big bad wolf, no. Not now. In Auschwitz, you were gods. Do you feel like a god? Do you know what you look like to me? A sad, empty husk. And not of a man, no. You're not a man. There's not even a word to describe what you are. It's the children that get to me. All those innocent children. Imagine someone comes and tells you, you, you must leave your home. Your parents are taken away and you don't know if you'll ever see them again. And then you're left all alone. You're all alone. We're all alone in the end. But it shouldn't ever be like that. Not like that. Children. Babies. I knew I'd find these. You always keep them. It's like some distorted, disturbing nostalgia. Self-congratulation is your undoing. 
the Lascar that I... He insisted you were all brainwashed. You can't brainwash someone to commit these atrocities. You must be born evil. A precedent must be set. You will be punished whether you repent or not. I found this in your things. Let me guess. Looking after it for a friend. Hello? Hi, I'm here to see Terry. Uh, I'm sorry, I, I don't think we've met. Who are you? I'm sorry, my name's Michael Grantham. I'm with the local police. And you are? Oh, uh, Emma. Emma, I'm Terry's niece. Ah, uh, joining us from across the pond. Yeah, I, I just had to get away from things. Like all that sunshine? Well, you know what they say. You can have too much of a good thing. So I'm told. You know what one of my friends used to say? Everything in moderation. Except moderation. Uh, I'm sorry, can I...? Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, I just wanted to speak to Terry. Uh, is he in? No, he popped out. Oh, that's fine. Uh, I wanted to see him about the car. He's probably been sensible not driving it around. How's that? When he was leaving the pub last night, I noticed his MOT was out of date. I didn't want him to get in any trouble, and uh, I just thought I'd give him a friendly word of warning. The locals get looked after and all that. MOT? Yeah, it's an annual inspection. Checks the cars all above board. It's out of date. Still, walking will probably do him the world of good. Clears the mind. Appears to keep a clear head. Anyway, if you could just let him know. No problem. <coughs> Are you okay? Excuse me? I don't know, you, you're just a little, a little bothered, hot. Oh, oh yeah, don't worry about me. I was, I was just working out, you know, yoga and all. Oh, okay. You have a good day now. Doki, here we go. I'm sure you remember this formality. You do remember, don't you? I read a statement by a survivor who encountered you. She had asked if you wouldn't remove her ponytail. You told her as long as there was hair on her head, Hair would grow, but if she no longer had her head, what use would she have for it? You're scaring me. I'm scaring you. Good. Good. You should be scared. Zyclone B. Good old faithful, right? Do you know who Jimmy Lee Gray was, Mr. Tanhauser? Rudolph. It's okay. You can speak now. Very well, then. He was a child rapist and murderer, much like you. He was executed in the good state of Mississippi. The officer in charge of the execution stated he died within two minutes of being gassed. But witnesses said he was still alive, writhing, 
in agony, repeatedly banging his head against a metal pipe when the viewing gallery was cleared eight minutes into the proceedings. <laughs> no danger of that with you, hey? Any last words? Very well. Goodbye, Mr. Tannhauser. Anybody there? Help! Please, please, someone. Help me, please. Please. Mercy. How do you? Terry, John. What you know? I'm looking for Terry. Terry? Cowley Farm? I've not seen him since last night in the commercial inn. Everything okay, Michael? You know our Alex, don't you? Is she the older one or younger one? Younger. Fifteen. She was out running the other day around the back of his place, and he only bloody exposed himself to her, the dirty bastard. Moved here for a quiet life. To get away from scum like that. I thought this was a decent community. I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna fucking kill him. He's dead. No. No. You. I'm not like you. Now what? Now we go for a walk. Dead man walking. Here. This is it. Turn around and face me. <laughs> you pissed yourself. Look at you. <laughs> you pissed yourself. <laughs> I'm gonna give you the gun and you're gonna shoot yourself in the head. Do you understand me? Why don't you just shoot me yourself? I told you, I'm not like you. On your knees. You think this is a noble thing? you're doing? Do you think this is something good? It's not about doing what's good or bad, it's about doing what's right. Amelia. What? I remember her, Amelia. Sweet Amelia. One morning, a couple arrived, a husband and a wife and a dog. Amelia. Flame, red hair. 
I could tell by the look on her face. She wasn't just terrified, she was guilty. She was hiding something. And I was right, because seconds later, this noise came from the suitcase that she was holding on to for dear life. It was a baby screaming. She opened the suitcase and took out the child. It couldn't have been more than two months old. I took the child and, and I kept on screaming and she sobbed and, and, the, and the noise of them both howling and wailing was unbearable. I couldn't hear myself think. So I took the child by his ankles and swung it up against the wall as hard as I could. That stopped the screaming. <laughs> For the child at least. The mother kept continuing screaming, so, so I cut out her tummy. I felt, I felt bad for the father having to listen to her scream like a banshee, so I cut her ears off. I should have shot the child too, it would have been more humane, both of them. So you remember her? Of course I don't! They all meant nothing. Every one of them a stain on the human history. I do think the children were the enemy. The children were never the enemy. It was that evil, dirty, vile Jew blood that coursed through their veins. <laughs> 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 Every moment since is borrowed. Your name isn't even Lucy, is it? Who are you? The Huntress of Auschwitz. Every moment. Belongs to them. The six million Jews killed during the Holocaust. Your life belongs to them. Every minute since is born.
Sixty years we've been hunting him. How on earth? Happenstance. Another hunter in the same chat room on the dark web. Oh, what a tangled web we weave when first we practice to deceive. So what brings you halfway across the earth, all the way to this little corner of the world? Strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, not to yield. Fuck you, Rudolph, you piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking kill him. Let's me and you have a conversation. How does it feel? Does it feel like justice? It feels like liberation. I'm glad you found what you were looking for. I couldn't have done it without you. Thank you, John. Who are you? I mean, really. If you knew that, you'd already be dead. <laughs> Ditto. What happened here today, your secret's safe with me. It's safe here. This is an old village, and old villages have lots of secrets. Though much is taken, much abides. And though we are not now that strength which in old days moved earth and heaven, that which we are, we are. One equal temper of heroic hearts, made weak by time and fate, but strong in will to strive, to seek, to find, and not to yield. <laughs>